Joiner planar combination machines have been popular for a long time in Europe, but it's only over the last several years that they've become more popular in American wood shops. We recently tested a new crop of these machines here at Fine Woodworking, and they're worth taking a look at. The concept of the joiner planar combination machine is simple. It's a joiner at the top, and it's a planer at the bottom. And there's one motor, one cutter head, and a single chassis putting it all together. A joiner planer combination machine brings a couple of pretty big advantages. The first is that you get a wide jointing capacity, which will allow you to build furniture that's much bigger. Second is you get a heavy duty planer. Third is that it takes up less shop space than having a separate joiner and planer. And fourth is that it has a single cutter head to maintain, so you don't have to worry about changing the straight knives on one or the other. These machines have a couple of disadvantages too. Since there's just one cutter head, it'll wear down quickly as you're jointing and planing. But the biggest disadvantage is changeover, which means anytime you want to joint or plane, you have to switch between jointing and planing modes. Let's take a look at some of the features that make these models different, starting with this one right here. The first thing you'll notice about this model is the European style cutter head guard. It's unique because it completely encloses the cutter head as you're jointing. That means you're going to have to pick your push pad up and move them across the cutter head during jointing. Let me show you what I mean. Now that I've jointed one side of the board, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it takes to put this machine into planing mode. The first thing you'll need to do is to open the cutter head guard fully. Simply slide the knob and put the cutter head back. Next, you want to move the fence to its rearmost position. Lock it in place. Then you need to come around to the front and pull up the outfeed table. The last step is to swing the dust collection hood into position. I'll just go ahead and adjust the height of the planer bed, and I'm ready to plane. The most obvious difference with this machine is the cutter head guard. In this case, it's an American style cutter head guard, which will swing away completely as you're joining. Some folks like to call this a pork chop style guard. But the biggest difference is the use of a segmented cutter head. Basically, that means that instead of straight knives, which are found on traditional joiners and planers, it has rows of carbide inserts that are sharp on four sides. This has a couple of advantages. These inserts stay sharper than traditional straight knives, and they'll last a lot longer. And if you ever need to refresh an edge, all you have to do is loosen the screw and rotate it to have three new edges. They cut cleaner, and they last longer. When you need to switch it into planar mode, you need to completely remove the fence from this machine. And both tables will need to come up. And then finally, we have this machine, which has some of the attributes of the previous two. The first thing you see is the European style cutter head guard that completely encloses the cutter head. The real difference with this machine is its ease of use. To switch it into planning mode, all I have to do is unlock these two levers, flip up the tables, and rotate the dust collector hood into place. And then I'm ready to plane. These machines have a number of advantages. Whether you're looking to save some space in your shop, or you'd like a wide joiner or a heavy duty planer, it's worth looking into a combination machine. For the money, they're an excellent value.